I'm like at you or the camera. You can switch it. Okay. I'm like, I'm just like, pretty much behind it, so. Gotcha. Um, it's first, what's your name and what are you involved with high school? Uh, I'm Tyler Polero. I used to play football, now I don't really do anything. <laughs> Alright, so what is your favorite memory in high school, like at the school? Um, I don't really necessarily have one specific one. Um, I have a lot of good memories, hanging out with people, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, how much your favorite memory, like, outside of the school? Again, probably just hanging out with people, building relationships, yeah. stuff like that. Uh, in your opinion, what's the best part of Ozark? Best parts? You can't narrow it down to one. <laughs> gotcha. Um, probably the people, things to do, stuff like that. Like. Um, what are the best parts of high school? Like, not Ozark specific, just high school in general. So, um, definitely being able to learn how to build relationships and learn skills for later in life. Um, what is your biggest takeaway from high school that you think you would use in the future? Uh, being able to communicate, talk to people, um, I think that's probably the biggest one. Um, do you have any general high school advice that you'd give someone? Um, just try to get through the day. Um, <laughs> a lot of it, after about sophomore year, it turns into <laughs> just trying to pass high school rather than learning. <laughs> uh, how about advice to younger classes specifically? Um, enjoy it while it lasts because it definitely goes by pretty quick. Yeah, for sure. um, what are some of your favorite local places? So like Ozark Branson, like specific places? Um, places in the square. Like there's a cupcake place, Stacy's yeah, Cupcakes, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then like the new the coffee shop that's opened up pretty yeah. pretty recently. Um, what are your favorite parts about Ozark just in general? Um, just like going to the park, stuff like that, hanging out with friends. Um, so this one's kind of split up into three. Um, so the general question is who's had the biggest impact on you? The first being like teachers or faculty, so someone employed by the school. Uh, probably Mr. Edwards. Yeah, he, uh, he helped me get through a lot of sophomore year and into junior year as well. Uh, how about other adults, so like someone not for the school? Yeah, um, I would say probably my f one of my best friend's parents. But yeah, they kind of got me through a lot of rough times throughout uh, yeah. high school. Um, and then how about your peers, like some of my friends? Um, probably my friend Austin. He's been somewhere, someone I can go and talk to a lot. So, uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? I don't think I'd change anything really. It's pretty. It's a pretty good place to live, and I don't. I don't mind living here. Uh, Summer is high school for you in ten words or less. Ten words or less. Um. Waste of my time. No, it's like um. A very very good experience. Yeah. So. Uh, and then what are your plans after high school? Yeah. I plan to go to OTC and uh, get a welding degree and get my gen eds. <laughs> Anything else that you want to say that you would like to be left with? I think I'm good. <laughs> Memory time. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so first, what's your <laughs> name and what are you involved with? Um, I'm Colby Allen, and I'm involved in DECA and wrestling. Co-commentator as well. Don't forget. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Co-commentator for Ozark High School football. So what is your favorite memory in high school? Uh, my favorite memory in high school is probably after practices, uh, we'd have the 6 a.m. practices at the wrestling bar, and then after the practices, we'd have morning breakfast as a team, and that was always really nice. Um, what's your favorite memory outside of high school? Favorite memory outside of high school is also like wrestling related. It was when we adopted a team. Um, we adopted a team as like the wrestling team adopted a family, and then we went and went to Walmart and we bought a bunch of stuff for the family and that was like really fun. It was good yeah. team bonding and it was really cool to be able to help somebody. Uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark? The best part of Ozark is the opportunities we have here. Whether it's sports, the clubs, you know, the teams we have, like everything, the weight room. We have so many opportunities here that other schools don't have. Um, what are the best parts of high school in general? Not like those are specific. The best part of high school, probably just the friends you make. Well, I mean, sometimes you're going to make friends that you're going to lose, but like, it's the friends you make. Like for me, I'm going to talk about this later, but it's like Tyson Albright and Nikki Gladkoff and Kale. Like those guys, 
I'm going to talk to after high school. And, like, I know I can call Nikki or Tyson and, like, call them anytime and talk to them as long as I want to. And that's, like, really meaningful. Uh, what are the biggest takeaways from high school you think you'll use in the future? The biggest takeaways, probably, um, like, my mental toughness, like, how much I've been through, through, like, with the sport, with wrestling, and then just just everything through high school, you build up a lot of stuff, I guess. I'm trying to think. That was a hard question. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> um, general high school advice for you to give us High school advice, uh, be involved. You know, you hear that, like, when you first come up. You remember Key Club? Yeah. How that was a thing? You first came in yeah, a freshman. So you be involved in your life. As a freshman, you're like, I don't care, dude. Like, no, it's real. Like, for real? Like, I, if I would have done, I wish I would have done something other than band freshman year. Yeah. I just did band, and that was, like, I personally don't think band was fun, but, <laughs> like, I wish I would have done, like, a few sports or something. Like, yeah. like what Skaggs is doing. Skaggs plays, what, three sports? Yeah. And, like, you know, he's good at all three sports because he's done it since he's a kid yeah. in, like, freshman year. Yeah. Uh, what would your advice be to younger classes? This is kind of the same, but. Yeah, I read, I read the same thing. Be involved yeah. throughout. Be involved. Key, the Key Club thing, dude, that was funny. <laughs> I hated that. That was garbage. No, but, like, pay attention. Um, what are your favorite local places? Um, favorite local places before they close down, bro. Buckingham's. Buckingham's <laughs> is fire. The barbecue place is fire. And then um, Thai Express is pretty good. Thai Express. And then in Springfield, when I got a jury, bro, I'm gonna be hitting that place every day. Panda Express. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about your favorite parts about Ozark in general? Um, favorite parts about Ozark. Yeah. Like the high school or just in general? Just in general, like the city. Can involve the high school, but. Um. This the we always have like stuff going on. There's always like. Um, you remember when Pokemon Go was a thing, bro? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I still play that. But <laughs> when Pokemon Go was a thing, I remember walking down with Wesley, and, Keegan and uh, James. And we were walking down the street, and it's just like, every single like. Store like restaurant you pass by, they always have like something drawn on a chalkboard. Like whether it's like what yeah, Char right. Charmander, and then it's like, <laughs> oh, you catch Charmander, bro, you get like fifty percent off your food. It's like okay, bet. <laughs> it's kind of fun. There's a lot of community involvement. Yeah. Okay, so this one's uh, like kind of split into three, but it's based on one like, main question. Um, so it's the main question is who's had the biggest impact on you, and the first would be like teachers or faculty. Um, the wrestling staff, obviously, Coach Godfrey. Coach Godfrey Sr., <laughs> uh, yeah, Coach Sunley and Coach Spoon, Coach Kellis, all those guys, you know, they've helped me mature a lot from, like, freshman year, or from sophomore year to senior year, just those three years. They've helped me mature so much, like, and just, like, build up my strength and mental strength and everything we do in that. Like, everything you do in wrestling is going to help me the rest of my life. Yeah. and. And they have, like, coached all me, like, coached me through all that and helped me become, like, a better person and, like, a better wrestler. I said that on senior night, too. Like, that helped me. Like, they're all helping us, like, improve ourselves for the future. It's not just for the sport. Okay. Um, how about other adults that are in your life? Obviously, my parents. But, you know, I wouldn't be here without my parents. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, like, Jenkins and... Other teachers, and they've all helped me. Yeah. Like, Jenkins especially has helped me mature too, because like he hate. I feel like he. I feel like he hated me like freshman year, and like you can tell like how much I matured and how much yeah. he's helped me a lot. Just like to calm down. <laughs> um, how about like peers, just like your friends or someone like around the same age, not like a. Like um, Nikki and Tyson. Nikki helped me build like get me a lot closer like with my relationship with God and help like my the religious side of uh, me and um, he helped me build like put everything in perspective like um, like if somebody that was just one thing that he really helped me with is like put everything in perspective like be thankful for every single thing I get because he was so bought into the wrestling program and that's what coach Kellis and all those coaches showed him so it was nice to like get that side of the program too and then uh, Tyson Albright he helped me a lot with my work ethic, like just to help. Um, he helped me build up, and like he would always go to the barn or go to the gym and go work out, like every single day. Oh, we just got out of practice. I'm gonna go hit the gym. And it's like I don't have the energy to do that, but like if he can do it, then I can do it. And so I started doing that too, 
and that helped me a lot. And then Kale, obviously, he, he got me into the program. And so we've been best friends since then. And just like watching him wrestle and just all the stuff he's done for me and how long we've been friends, that always, that, that was really nice. Um, and then if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Like I was like joking with you earlier. Like I can't think of anything but the lunch. Like the lunch is garbage, for real. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, dude, it's bad. Like you go to any other school, go to any other school in Springfield and it's good food. Not like Park, oh, have you gone to Parkview's concession stand? <laughs> no, go to Parkview, like when there's a basketball game going on and go to the concession stand. Fire? They have, no, they got like barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, they got like ribs and stuff. Not only the lunch, but also like the way our cafeteria is set up, kinda sucks. Like how closed off it is. It's weird. Like the Springfield schools are all open. Like the commons and the lunchroom is the same place. Here it's like a walled up. I, don't know. I didn't even think about that. It's that's weird. true. I was like the only one that's like it. Yeah, um, summarize high school for you in ten words or less, or like a phrase. For me? Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> um, I think. Hold on. I'm gonna check my notes. I wanna see if I had anything for this. Uh, yeah, bro. I don't got anything for this. I think it's like, honestly, I do believe this. Like, people talk about how, like, um, trash this, like, school is. They're like, oh, it's trash. Like, it sucks. Like, worst school. I d genuinely think it's, like, one of the best schools in Missouri. Just because, like, obviously, you don't know. You can't be thankful for it till you, like, get out yeah. of it. You, like you said earlier, like, putting things in perspective, you really, like, don't know until you're, like, senior year. Because you get to, like, eighth grade, freshman year, like, dude. Oh, Zach sucks. You have to put up with all this work, all these people. And then you get to, like, freshman year, or, like, second semester, we're about to graduate, and it's, like, it's been really good. Like, yeah, for the most part, you know, it's been really good to me, things like that, yeah. Like, the online classes. Yeah. Like, 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 imagine going to, like, Parkview. They don't have this opportunity. Like, oh. you in a green screen right now with yeah. lights. Like, in Jenkins House, you said, like, imagine, like, going to a school with, like, not all schools have someone like uh, Jenkins or... Exactly. Like Coach Sunley, like we have so many opportunities and so much like great things to do here. I generally think it's uh, my ten words: best high school in four one seven, bro, for real. Uh, and what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm gonna go to Drury and um, I'm gonna wrestle there, and I'm gonna probably major. I'm gonna major in marketing and then minor in psychology. So that's my plans after high school. Alright. Anything else you wanna say? Any other? Shout out, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no. First one, uh, just your name and what you're involved with, and then that'll be an end of one clip, and then I'm going to do the rest all in one. We're going to yeah. what? Uh, the first clip is going to be its own individual. Of yeah. What's your name and what are you involved with? And then after that, all the rest of the questions are going to be on one big clip. Okay. Okay. So, what's your name and what's your name in high school? Stop. My name's Carson. Oh, <laughs> are we recording right now? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. My name's Carson. I'm involved with uh, DECA, and that's pretty much it. So it's still. All right. First up, favorite memory in high school? Uh, don't really have one, to be honest. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite memory outside of high school? <laughs> I did not. There's so many. Uh, I did not. <laughs> think of one in particular right now but there's a lot okay uh in your opinion what are the best parts of those are best parts um i think the teachers are pretty good some of them at least okay what are the best parts of high school in general not just ozark uh best part of high school uh the social aspect just like coming and seeing people that you like to talk to and okay. all that uh what do you think your biggest takeaway from high school will be that you'll use in the future um, biggest takeaway, probably if you want something, then work for it, because, I mean, if you don't try in your classes, then, okay, cut that part out, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. I'm just going I'm off. Swiveling. <laughs> stay, stay <laughs> okay. All right. Biggest takeaway from high school you think you'll use in the future? If you want something, work hard for it. Uh, what is your, if you had to give someone general high school advice, what would it be? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Cut that out too. <laughs> Just don't, don't even include that question. <laughs> okay, I guess not all of the questions you answer will be in here, so. Okay, good, good. 
Um, what would your advice to younger classes be? Uh, my advice to younger class. So, what's your name and what are you involved with at high school? Uh, my name is Abel Wallace and I'm involved with the eSports club. Alright, so what is your favorite memory in high school? Um, probably my first year of prom. I was a sophomore. It was just a very memorable moment. Okay. Uh, how about your favorite memory outside of high school? Uh, probably the Disney trip and uh, the band Disney trip. It was really fun. Uh, so in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark? Um, I mean, I would say for the most part, the education system is really good. Um, but also the people, they're really nice, you know, somebody, they were just, you know, if you're broke down, they give you a hand, you know, so I'd say the people for the most part. What do you think the best parts of high school in general are, like not those are specific things? Um, so I'd say the best part would be like, um, our academic programs, like you got IP, IB, AP, that really helps, and, uh, and then the amount of clubs that we have, how open it is, and the diversity. Um, what do you think the, some of the biggest takeaways from high school um, that you'll use in the future? Um, definitely the math and then the lessons I learned, like, and the skills I learned, typically, like, uh, woodshop, probably that. Um, and then the math because I want to be an architect, yeah. so. Uh, what would be, like, some general high school advice you'd give to someone? Shoot your shot, man. <laughs> Shoot your shot. I mean, like, you know, like, set your goal, live up to it, and set yourself up to these, uh, to these levels and you know, live up to them. Um, what would your advice be to younger classes? Um, give it all you got. Okay. Um, what are some of your favorite local places? Um, probably just like the movie theater, because that's where I'd be like the best get together with my friends, yeah. so. Uh, what are some of your favorite parts about Ozark in general, like just as a city? Um, well, geez, um, I would say once again, the people. You know, because like a lot of my friends, you know, we all grew up here, you know, it's just we're all a community and I really like that. Yeah. Um, who's had, so this one's kind of split into like three separate parts. Okay. The main question is who's had the biggest impact on you? The first like subsection would be like teachers or faculty? Um, that would be Mr. Love. Um, I've taken all his classes, so. <laughs> uh, how about like other adults in your life? Uh, have a big impact on you? Definitely my mother. I mean, she kind of like came from a lot, and uh, I really appreciate what she's done for me throughout like my whole life, especially during high school. So she'd be the biggest impact I've had that is not a teacher. Yeah. Uh, and then how about peers, like someone? Um, well, geez, that's a tough one. I would have to say Ethan Pallad, you know? <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy, always keeps <laughs> me going. Uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Um, See, that's, that's the problem. Like, I don't really see a whole lot, you know, going to Ozark um, compared to, like, other cities. Um, I can't really think of anything to change with Ozark. Uh, so this one's kind of tough, so you can think about it for a second. Okay. Me too. So summarize high school for you and, like, your experience in 10 words or less. Um, okay. I'm going to just list it off, really. Okay. Um, start off really well. So, like, went well. Uh, went really well, depressing, uh, really iffy. So okay. that's like in order. So <laughs> freshman, sophomore, <laughs> junior, senior. Yeah. So junior year, that's typically when like. <laughs> the things are on the way back up. Yeah. yeah. Um, what are your plans after high school? Uh, go to college and then get a job. Get a job. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to, any other words of wisdom from Abel Wallace? Any, oh, you think I'm wise, that's, that's great. Um, well, geez, now that I think about it. Um, I mean, I'd say just like pursue your passions because like if you find something that you're passionate about, there's something that you will find that you're passionate about. I go with that. I mean, even if you do like end up changing from one like major to another or like what you're devoted in, I would say it's really like something that can keep you going and keep you motivated. Find something to keep you motivated and keep you going. So that you can just like, so that you have a purpose and you feel like you're purposeful, and uh, stay away from drama, because that stuff sucks, and uh, just like, just enjoy yourself, and you know, because like high school is kind of like to find yourself, and it's also kind of, it's also meant for you to be like, it's kind of, it's kind of that step up, you know, and take take hard classes. <laughs> yeah.
the harder classes you take, the harder you'll push yourself and the better you'll feel. Uh, so what's your name and what are you involved with at the high school? Um, my name is Peyton Lougheed and I am involved in FFA majorly, probably, that's the top one. DECA, FBLA, um, FCA, NHS, um, I play golf, and that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So, uh, speech? Oh yeah, speech and debate, <laughs> speech and debate, yeah, that's kind of, a, I'm kind of big in there. <laughs> forgot about that one. I always speech forget about it. Uh, so what's your favorite memory in high school? Mm. I guess also you should probably clarify that you haven't been here all four years. Yeah, so I moved to Ozark my sophomore year, so technically my freshman year I was at Nixa. Um, but my favorite memory from Ozark, we'll go with that, would probably have to be sophomore year national convention for FFA. Uh, do you want a reasoning why? If you want. Well, I had no idea what I was doing. I was sweet little innocent Peyton, stuck in a room with a whole bunch of seniors that were absolutely crazy. Um, and I got to experience just like the most wild school trip that you could possibly imagine. Like everything that could go wrong with our hotel rooms, the bus, literally anything. Our tickets were messed up, everything went wrong. And it was so fun because like, even though the trip didn't go as planned, like we still made the best out of it. Uh, what would you say your favorite memory outside of high school is? Mm. Like involving an activity or just like literally yeah, teenage literally life yeah, while happened. in high school? Probably getting my driver's license, being able to drive. Like, and then from there I got a job and got to do a lot more things. The sense of freedom that came with that. Uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark? Like not the high school specifically, it could be about the high school, but like the city in general? There's not a lot to do. Most things I do are outside, so. Um, we'll get to that later. I don't know, really. I don't have a specific. I don't go out to eat or. I don't explore <laughs> places, so really I just hike and go to work. Uh, what would you say the best parts of high school are, like non Ozark specific things, just high school things? Mm, probably changing. I know that's weird because a lot of people don't like the factor of change, but like the sense of growing up in high school and the fact that like you start out so young and you don't know like the aspects of actually living like an adult and like high school kind of babies you into babies you into that. And like throughout high school for me especially, it's been not that the fact that I've grown up, but just like I've matured as a person like in a whole. Um, what are the biggest takeaways from high school that you think you'll use in the future? Oh, probably procrastination. Hopefully I'll be better at that in college or managing that in college. Um, probably trying to control things like uncontrollable factors, whether it's a person or a class or relationship or whatever it is. That's just like a fact that I've learned through high school is like you can't control certain situations. You just have to let them ride out and learn from them and experience them. So that's probably a big part. What is some general high school advice you would give to someone? Don't be afraid to try new things, no matter what it is. Um, be open-minded and be open to people because we're very judgmental, like super judgmental high school kids. And so sometimes we hear rumors or drama or think badly about people and in the end it's not even worth it. What would your advice to younger classes be? Like people who are like just about to start high school or people who are gonna, I don't know, just younger people? Um, probably stick to what you believe and not like religiously or like morals, but just like if you think that something's right or wrong, like peer pressure should not have to come and play as often as you think you should let it. Mm -hmm. And like, like I mentioned earlier, like trying new things, like you don't have to fall to like temptations or peer pressure. like. Stick to what you think is right, your conscience is right, listen to yourself, don't listen to others as much. Uh, what are some of your favorite local places? And that could be like, it doesn't have to stay in Ozark, just like the surrounding area. Um, well, I did try the workshop like two weeks ago. That's literally right across from Come and Go on the corner. And it's pretty cute, like it's a good like study place and like, I don't like coffee so I drank tea and it was all right, but. Um, I like Busick and I like the Nature Center and obviously I like Table Rock a lot. 
those would probably be my main places because like even after school when there's only like three hours of sunlight left just going to Busick like it's just the best thing ever uh, so this one's kind of split up into three parts but it's like got one main question the main question is who's had the biggest impact on you and then the first would be like teachers or faculty here oh so like you go through enlisted yeah. person hmm. someone employed by the school probably Dr. McInnich uh, she was my Algebra 2 teacher, junior year, and I do not like math, never been good at it, and so I have a very negative mindset going into it, and she was just very, like, not nurturing, but I don't know what else, like, to say about it, but she cared about fixing my mindset and about, like, ha helping me learn more than just, like, passing the test, mm -hmm. and that she cared about me as a person, too. How about other adults in your life? Definitely my mother. Uh, and then what about peers? Mm. I don't know any like specifics because I like know a lot of people, but probably Ashlyn Cunningham. Like we met each other sophomore year, my second week of school, we got drug tested together. Pretty much since then we've been friends. We've had our in and outs, but she's been really close to me and then obviously there's been like relationships and like friendships that haven't worked out and those help those taught me a lot i've grown as a person from those mm -hmm. if you could change one thing about ozark what would it be well you can't change people so i don't know mm. I kind of liked whenever I went to Nixa that we had a bell schedule that was all one day. So you had yeah. all your classes in one day. Not block scheduling? Block scheduling has never been, mm, never been a favorite of mine. Depends on the class. Yeah, I could agree with that. Uh, summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. That's hard. <laughs> I gotta count them to make sure that I don't go over. <laughs> or just like a phrase. I guess a phrase like is like, Something that I'm glad to leave behind, but I'll never regret. Gotcha. Probably. And then what are your plans after high school? Um, my plans are to go to college, specifically Mizzou, uh, major in animal science, pre-veterinary, and then go into vet school after that. Any last words or anything you want to say to uh, leave off of anything? Anything you feel like you want to make sure people know about <laughs> anything? Not that I know of. Alright, there you go. That's good. Mm. Alright, what's your name and what are you involved with? My name is Tucker Moeller. I'm involved with track. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I called him. <laughs> um, I'm involved in track, DECA, st the student council, YEPO, and that's about it. Now that's all I can think of. Uh, so, what is your favorite memory in high school? Are we talking sports-wise, or just? It can be sports. If you have more than one, you can bring a bowl. Okay. Um, this would have to be back in like sophomore. It was either freshman or sophomore year when the football team went to districts and we lost to, uh, I think it was Waynesville or something like that. So. And just to see all the hard work put in and all the, like the seniors being just ended. <laughs> <laughs> the team just all huddled together and there were a few criers. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was very emotional and it was, uh, it was uh, a little eye-opening. Like, dang, this can just end in a minute like it, did. Okay. Uh, how about your favorite memory outside of high school? Oof, outside of high school. Off the top of my head, all I can think about is one night me and some buddies went to the movies. I don't remember what movie we were watching, but we got it we got done. It was about twelve thirty and everybody was like, Okay, I'm going to go to I'm going home, going to bed. Me, Sean Poppy and Jojo Strain were like, Screw that, let's go driving. And so for the next five or six hours, we drove through. Is that when you went to Crane? 
That was one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you were out. Mm-hmm. We we got back at six or seven in the morning. I think it was six in the morning. We drove through. I want to say eleven or twelve different towns, and got all the way, way out just east. And it was, it was fun. Uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of those there? The best parts, uh, definitely the community. It's a town where you don't know everybody, but it's a small town where you know what's going on. Yeah. It feels like home. Yeah. Uh, what would you say the best parts of high school are? Like not those are specific things, but hmm, the best parts of high school. Um, just the experience from coming in as a freshman, not knowing what to expect to being a sophomore to kind of understanding what's going on. You're still not in the loop. Junior, you kind of sitting there just waiting and it's hell, but then coming as a senior and you just pretty much do what you want because you can. Yeah. And it's just, it's fun. Uh, what are the biggest takeaways from high school you think you'll use in the future? Oh, um, don't take stuff for granted, definitely. And uh, don't put it off. If, it, if you need to do it, do it. Okay. Uh, general high school advice you'd give to somebody? Um, be friends with everybody. Be friends with everybody because if you're friends with everybody, you don't have any beef. If you don't have any beef, nobody's got a problem with you, then everybody likes you. Uh, what would your advice to younger classes be? Try everything. Whether it's if you're an ag kid, try track. If you're a track kid, try ag. It just, if it's something you don't see yourself doing, try it out, give it a shot. If you don't make it, oh well. I tried out for basketball sophomore year and I got kicked to the curb. <laughs> just try it out. Uh, what are some of your favorite local places? Hmm. <laughs> Going back to what Carson said, the new McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, or in the summertime, the quarry out yeah. to the back of Ozark, definitely. Uh, what are your favorite parts about Ozark? Just as a, as a city, it kind of brought it up already, but... Yeah, um, this house is just a, a small town, and there's not a lot, so it's kind of boring sometimes, but yeah, there's always something new in Ozark happening. Um, and then this one, like I said, split into three, so uh, who's had the biggest impact on you first, teachers or faculty? Whew, um, probably Betsy Rice, <laughs> I'd say. Uh, how about other adults in your life? Uh, definitely my parents. Yeah. They uh, definitely kicked my butt when I wasn't doing good, and they definitely helped me get better. And, yeah. uh, yeah. and how about peers? Whew. Peers in... Mm -hmm. Ag fam? Probably Ag fam. <laughs> Ag fam and uh, Tyler Albright. Yeah. In my grade, at least. I don't, if I thought about other grades, it would be a little difficult. Uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Uh, the way you run the school, how the freshmen aren't up at the high school. Yeah. I know that's changing right now, but I think it was a, it was a terrible idea. Yeah. Because yeah, freshmen coming out to be sophomores, it's more like freshmen coming out to be freshmen. Yeah. Uh, summarize high school for you in ten words or less. Whew. Um, ten words or less, or a phrase of. It's kind of like Missouri. It's kind of like the weather in Missouri. You never know what you're gonna get. First day, second day, it's random. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans after high school? Whew, this one's gonna be tough. This <laughs> is, uh, I'm either going to MSU or OTC for my first two years and then MSU. It just depends if I wanna have debt. Yeah, you're interested in debt or not? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then any, any other words or anything that you'd like to you wanna give? Lasting words. Don't have beef. <laughs> it it ruins friendships. Waste of time. And it's a waste of time because when you look at it, it's like two weeks you hate somebody and then you never talk to them again and you're fine. You could talk to them and still be fine. Yeah. So. All right. There you go. All right. So what's your name and what are you involved with at the high school? My name is Megan Surface, and I'm involved in DECA, uh, Future Business Leaders of America, National Honor Society, Math Honor Society, uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, 
and I think that's it. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite memory in high school? So one of my favorite memories in high school was uh, freshman year in Miss Little's science class. Um, in all of the science classes, like the labs at the high school, there's these showers. Um, so like if you get chemicals in your eyes, you can wash them out. And I remember Kale Spoon asked Miss Little if he could um, like do the shower on the last day of school. And she let him. So on the last day of school, he fully clothed, just like went under the shower and pulled it down. and. It was really funny to watch, and then he had a huge mess to clean up. <laughs> uh, how about your favorite memory outside of high school? Um, that's a tough one. I had a lot of good memories. Um, I remember in fifth grade, I had Mr. Ferguson for math, and at the end of the year, when we had like finished our like math stuff, um, he did skits that he had like all of us do. And so um, that was a lot of fun because I've never really, never really did that before, and it was just a fun way to kind of end out the school year with my peers. Uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark? I would say the best parts of Ozark are the incredible teachers that we have. Um, I've had so many good teachers that I'm going to miss a lot um, as I leave Ozark. So um, I know that we are really blessed because a lot of schools aren't privileged with that. Um, our teachers really care about students and they invest their time and effort into helping us succeed, which is incredible. Um, and also there's just so many opportunities at Ozark through um, OTC, getting free credit from that, and then like AP classes, IB, uh, the A plus program, like there's so many incredible programs for us to get free college. And um, I know that that's gonna pay off a lot whenever I actually have to pay for college. <laughs> Uh, what are the best parts of high school in general, like not those are specific? Um, I would say in general, prom and sporting events and really just anything when you're getting to like hang out with your peers um, when it's not really like an academic atmosphere, but more of just like a fun atmosphere. So I really have enjoyed like the football games and then um, prom and then going on trips through DECA, um, just making memories with my peers. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about like, what do you think the biggest takeaways from high school um, that you think you're using the future? I would say one of my biggest takeaways is to not let fear stop you from trying new things. I think that there's a lot of um, incredible opportunities that I've had in high school that I probably wouldn't have um, got if I wouldn't have stepped out of my comfort zone and tried something new and it really paid off and I've had a lot of fun. And so I would say just going forward, that's probably something I'm gonna try to remember and continue doing. Um, even if I'm a little bit afraid of trying something new, I think I wanna try to do it and see what happens because um, a lot of times it's rewarding. Uh, how about general high school advice you give to someone? I would say the number one thing is to get involved uh, find something that you're passionate about and that interests you, whether that's a sport or a club or a class. There's just so many opportunities. There's something for everyone at Ozark, and um, you can really find something that you're interested in. So for me, that was business clubs. So I joined like FBLA and DECA, and then I've taken a lot of business courses, and I've had a lot of fun with that, and I know that that's something that I want to pursue after high school. Uh, what are some of your favorite local places? Favorite local places, um, I like the mall because I love to shop, so I like all of, like the little shops in Springfield too. And I really like the um, like the breakfast places. I feel like this area, we have a lot of really good like breakfast spots. And Ozark finally has a coffee shop, so I like that, the workshop a lot. Uh, what are some of your favorite parts about um, just Ozark in general as a city? Favorite parts about Ozark as a city? I really like the community, I feel like uh, like at sporting events, even people that aren't connected with the school at all come and watch the football games and basketball games and stuff. So I think that's really cool and that's uh, kind of unique. And I just I just like that feel, how everybody kind of knows, not everybody knows everybody because we are becoming bigger, but um, you know, if, you, if I go to Walmart, I'm gonna see like at least one or two people that I know. And I just think that's kind of cool that we still have that small town feel as we get bigger. Uh, this one is like one main question split into three parts. So like, who's, okay. the, who's had the biggest impact on you? And then the first category would be teachers or faculty. Okay, so I would say teachers probably out of the, those two. Um, like I said, I've had some incredible teachers and I couldn't even choose a favorite teacher through the years if I had to because I've just had so many great ones. But I really liked my math teachers a lot. 
um, especially in high school. I've had some really good math teachers that have really invested their time and effort into helping me succeed, and um, that's been really good. Uh, how about other adults in your life, like any specific adults? I would say, uh, number one, definitely my parents. I know it's the cliche answer, but my parents really have had the biggest impact on, on me. They've just um, supported me in everything that I've done. They've pushed me to try new things and to get out of my comfort zone. And um, they've celebrated with me in those successes as a result of um, trying new stuff. So definitely my parents, I'm very thankful for them and all the time that they've invested in me. How about peers who've had a big impact on you? Peers, I would say um, my friends especially. I've made a lot of new friends in high school and like the people that I was friends with in elementary school. It's kind of, it's been weird to like see that progress, but um, just how different they were and everything. And I would just say like seeing the friends that I have in high school and can we redo this question? I'm just yeah. rambling. Okay, I gotta think about this better. That's fine. Um, if you have like specific people you wanna mention, you can. Okay. So wait, what is the question again? Uh, who's had the biggest impact on you specifically with peers? Okay. Okay. So um, as far as my peers, I've made a lot of really good friends in high school, and I've I really like my friend group that I kind of hang out with and everything. And then um, so it's like new friends I made in high school, and then I've also had a few friends that I've stayed friends with like all the way since kindergarten. Grace Stein and Abby Barnwell, uh, we've been really close ever since kindergarten and that's, that's just been cool to see. Even though we have very different um, interests and career-wise we're gonna be doing completely different things, but um, it's been cool to just be friends in, in the midst of those differences and to share uh, the high school experience together. If you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Honestly, I would say um, just to keep doing what they're doing, to keep expanding uh, the classes and the opportunities and um, the different like career interests and everything. And I, I hope that you know like five or ten years from now the business department will have even more classes than they do now so that people can kind of specialize more in specific things that they want to do. And I would say the same for all the career fields. I don't know as much about the other ones since they don't necessarily apply to me, but I know that there's definitely a lot of room for growth as far as uh, career prep classes, and I know that that's something that Ozark is already looking at doing with the new Innovation Center. So I'm excited to see uh, where that will go, and I would say that like as they expand and do those things, uh, just to keep that community, uh, like kind of small town feel as they do that, and I think that they can do that through relationships with teachers and students, and that's one thing that has really stood out to me about Ozark, is that it's not just every student is just a number. It's, it truly is that relationship formed, and I think that's really awesome. Uh, so summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. 10 words or less. Um, I would say fun, growth, um, knowledge, maturity, and that might be it. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are your plans after high school? My plans after high school are to go to Southwest Baptist University, and I'm not sure specifically what I want to get my degree in, but I'm thinking about finance or marketing possibly. So I'm going to kind of take a few classes and see what I like and what I don't like, but I think I want to stay in the business field for sure. Uh, and then anything else you want to say? Any other words? I don't think so. I would just say um, to everybody that goes to Ozark, truly appreciate. Uh, the, experience the experience you've had because I know that a lot of other schools don't have this and we are just so blessed to go to an incredible school district. So, And thank you to all my teachers and everybody that has invested in me. I truly appreciate it. Good. The first question is going to be asked in its own clip and then we're going to do the rest in one one. So this is the first one. Okay. What's your name and what are you involved with at the high school? Hello. Wait, where do I look? Me or the camera or both? Just for okay. Um, my name is Olivia Holse, and I am involved in student council. I'm currently the vice president, and I also do DECA <laughs> and um, FBLA, but then I dropped out of that, and that's about it. I used to swim, but now I don't. That doesn't do anything. Well, you're <laughs> Okay, what's your favorite memory in high school? 
Um, like in the school? In the school, like a school event? Um, probably like all the football games and especially the one when we played Nixa, our football team, freshman year. That was such an exciting game when we went to double overtime because my brother played, so that was probably my favorite memory. Uh, how much favorite memory outside of high school? Um, like hanging out with my friends and stuff and just doing normal teenager things. Normal teenager things. <laughs> uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark like as a school district? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think we have really good academics and I think that we have really good teachers that care about us and our learning. And I don't know, we're just a good school. Uh, what are the best parts of high school in general? Like not Ozark specific. Um, figure out who you are and who you want to be. Uh, what do you think the biggest takeaway from high school is that you'll use in the future? Um, can you repeat that what? Like something you'll take from high school you think you'll use in the future. Uh, I don't know. Are you, are you going to edit this out? Yeah. Okay, good, because I, I can't think that fast. Okay, wait, let me think about this. What, what, did some, what did Kelsey say? I don't know. I've interviewed like eight people. I have no idea what everyone said. Um, said something that I'll take away? I said, yeah. like, don't be afraid to try new things. I okay, I got it. it. Okay, got it. Yes. So biggest takeaways from high school you think you'll use in the future? To live in the moment and not worry about every little detail and just have fun on your journey to the rest of your life. What's some general high school advice you give to someone? <laughs> um, keep your circle small. Do not trust anybody. Don't trust boys. Don't talk to boys. Don't catch feelings. This reminds me of that Hill episode. <laughs> I know. Um, how about advice to younger classes? Um, go to everything like all the school events and stuff, like the games and everything, and just have fun and don't take it too serious and um, quit like spreading drama and stuff like that and just have fun. Uh, what are some of your favorite local places? So I feel like Ozark, Springfield, Branson, surrounding area. Springfield, it's a nice place. What about <laughs> what parts of Springfield? <laughs> um, the mall, the boutiques, the restaurants. The boutiques. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant in Springfield? Um, I really like Kai, that sushi right. place. Where's it at? Downtown Springfield. Um, what are your favorite parts about Ozark as a city? Um, it just feels like home. <laughs> uh, this one's kind of like split into three different parts, but it's one main question. So the question is, who's had the biggest impact on you in the first is like teacher or someone like who works for the school? Um, who did you say? I just realized you wanted me to be specific on that and I wasn't. Sorry. You answered it in a way that was like different than I asked, but then you fixed it using the name, like specific. So it'll start I don't know. I don't really think a teacher has changed. You don't think there's been a teacher that's yeah. like affected the way that you're. Oh, I got it. Ask the question again. Okay. Who's had the biggest impact on you, specifically like a teacher? Um, Mr. Olsup, definitely. Mr. Olsup. He just like... We had Olsup mm, together. Oh, yeah. He made me like think of things that I probably would have ever like thought. Or like I think like to think deeper and stuff. Yeah. Uh, how about other adults in your life who had a big impact on you? Um, my grandpa. Because he just always taught me to work hard and I don't know. Follow my dreams. Uh, how about your peers? Some peers that have a big impact on you. Um, you can give specifics. Who did, did Kelsey say me? Yeah. Kelsey Park <laughs> and Cecilia Westfall and Savannah Jenkins. <laughs> uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? What did you say? <laughs> I said like ex keep expanding like the departments. Yeah. Expand the departments. <laughs> <laughs> Your high school experience is significantly different from Megan's service. <laughs> 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 so well, like, 
Um, think about like the sporting events. Be like, just what do you want? Be, to, like, 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 what's more, something in Ozark happy. about yeah. Ozark that like bothers you or you don't like? And what would you want changed? Yeah. Be anything. I'm trying to think. Um, what do I not like? I don't like this place in general. Yeah? How could, what would be a step in the right direction to fix the, what you don't like? I think that we need to have more classes that um, is more specific to the interests that you want to do in college. Uh, summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. Or phrase. Um, a phrase. Oh, I like a phrase. Let me think of a phrase. Uh, I can't think of a phrase. 10 words or less. Or a phrase. Either. Okay, 10 words. Fun. Stressful. Um, can I look up words? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think. I'm feeling like kind of pressured right now. Yes. We just won't use the part where your phone's in the shop. What? Um, so we just won't use the part where you're, just don't read it off your phone. Okay, okay. Get words first. Add. So, <laughs> Uh, I would say. <laughs> we could be using this camera, but I, it's such a pain to get off of it. You have to sit and get stuff off this camera. It's not worth it. Oh, really? My it's phone like, has three Gs. Somebody in, look up adjectives. I'm it uploads in the wrong file. Type. Or look up, like, it quotes. Like here, it. It's really annoying. Oh, wait. I actually, ha let me see if I have this one quotes. quote. I actually have this quote that I really like. Let me try to find it. Is that relates to your high school experience? Live in the moment. No regrets. No, no regrets. regrets. <laughs> I think if I remember it, remembering it correctly. Wait. We still have cookies in the oven. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. I'll go, I'll go finish this. <laughs> Good luck. Um, um, when she started laughing, that was because I spilled like half of my watermelon. Yeah, so she like. <laughs> the lunch is supposed to start like soon, isn't it? Are you going with her, Jacobs? Yeah, can I do it Thursday? I guess so, that's fine. Wow, Ethan is so nice. You're and he just lets you. You're the best, Ethan. You're, you're an angel. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. Please, someone look up a quote for me. Just think of any words. I don't know. I yeah. want. I want it to be kind of. Is this the last question? No, there's one more after this. Okay. Or sort of. It's not really like a, a intrinsic question. Where is a stupid quote? Why is it like a box of chocolates? That's it. <laughs> That's the one. Where is it? So I feel like it's coming soon. I got it. I got my quote. I, actually, it doesn't really. What is the quote? It says, most humans are never fully present in the now because unconsciously they believe that the next moment must be more important than this one, but then you miss your whole life, which is never not now. So then just don't use that quote directly. Just summarize the quote just talking about living in the moment. I could just say that that, like I could just say that quote and then I could say that like it helped me to or like, I don't know, I'm just gonna say some words. Okay. So, summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. Um, fun, stressful, crazy, wild, um, heartbreaking. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, what are your plans after high school? Um, I will be attending Mizzou in the fall 
and I will be majoring in biochem and become a CRNA that specializes in anesthesiology. Hopefully we'll find out. Yes. And any last words or anything you want to say for um, any just general words of advice for Moby Holes? Don't just stay in your bed all high school. Go have fun. There you go. All right. So what is your name and what are you involved with for high school? My name is Savannah Jenkins. I'm involved in student council. I'm student body president. And I'm in DECA, FBLA, and just a lot of academic things. Uh, so what's your favorite memory in high school? Ooh, my favorite memory. Can I think about it for a second? Yeah. My favorite memory. Is there achievements or just a fun memory with your friends in class? Or it can be like a high school event, like a, like a game prom. or something, or prom. Yeah. Or just like a low key memory that has sentimental value. Can I just say high school as a whole? You just the to? experience? Yeah. I asked about your high school experience later on. But okay, I'll, if you have a specific I'll frame it to where it's just like sure. living the life as a high schooler. Is it still going? Yeah. Okay. Um, my favorite experience in high school is just the experience of being a high schooler itself. The new challenges that you encounter, finding out who you are and making friends that you know can last a lifetime and making relationships that you know will just change you and shape you into the person that you are. Uh, what's your favorite memory outside of high school? My favorite memory outside of high school. Can it be like when I was like five? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say this is my favorite memory. <laughs> your favorite memory when you were probably? <laughs> no. OK. It was a One Direction concert. <laughs> OK, I think my favorite memory like outside of high school was when I was in junior high, actually. And I won tickets to a One Direction concert. And it was just so cool and magical. Um, in your <laughs> opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark like at the school? The best parts of Ozark is the community that it has as a school. Like, you meet so like many people. And it's a big school, but it also feels small. And the teachers, like you know, they care about you and your peers. They care about you, and it's just all one big team. Uh, what are the best parts of high school in general, not like Ozark specific? Um, what are the best parts of being a high school student? But that kind of goes with like what I answered earlier. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, yeah just the same thing. Okay. Do I need to repeat it? No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you What do you think the biggest takeaways from high school are that you'll use in the future? I would say that it's learning just how you work like in the real world, like with people and just finding out like who you are and learning from like experiences. Uh, what's some general high school advice you'd give someone? Don't be embarrassed. You know, um, I would say just do what you think is fun and not like hold back. And you might think it's fun, but some people might think it's weird. But you know, if you do what you really enjoy, then it'll be worth it. Um, what would your advice be to like younger classes if there's anything different than your other general advice? Don't waste time. Time only. Time is very minimal and. You always push things off to later, but you don't always have later. You want to take to take advantage of what you have, and do the most with what you have now. Um, what are some of your favorite local places? Oh. That doesn't mean just Ozark, like Ozark and the surrounding area. Some of my favorite places, like in the, more in the Springfield area, is. Like the restaurants, like Neighbors Mill and Bricktown Brewery, and like the different boutiques that 
the town has. My favorite. Um, what are some of your favorite parts about Ozark as a city? Some of my favorite things about Ozark is that it feels, it can feel very, like, much like a small town, but it can also be, like, very large at the same time. So you have everything that you need, but it's also quite homey. Um, so this one's, like, split into three different parts, but it's got one main okay. question. So the question is, who's had the biggest impact on you and, like, any teachers or faculty, uh, like, specifically? The teacher that had the most impact on me is probably my Algebra 2 teacher, Mrs. Sappington. She really helped me learn and to enjoy school. Uh, how about other adults in your life? Well, of course, my parents really probably made the biggest impact on my life and my time in school and in high school and as a person. Uh, how about peers that have made an impact on you? Um, Molly Morrison and Megan Smith have been two of the people that have really shaped my high school experience and me. Okay. Uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Um, school spirit, people to get involved and to want to be involved and to enjoy things just for the sake of enjoying it. Yeah, I got you. Summarize high school for you in 10 words you want. Oh my goodness, okay. Like just like words or like phrases? It can be phrase. I'm just gonna do individual words. Okay. Enjoyable, challenging, um, is growthful a word? Oh. Growthful? <laughs> Which is growth? Growth, um, joy, sadness at the same time. Um, What's the word? Bittersweet. What's the word that's like? Why can't I do it? Okay, that's it. Uh, what are your plans after high school? My plans are to go to a four-year college, most likely Evangel, and do pre-med there, and then go to medical school. Right. Is there anything else you want to leave off on or say? Nope. That's all? All right. Yep. Uh, Leah, you ready? So the first question is, what's your name, and what are you involved with high school? My name is Leah Kearns, and I'm involved in DECA, FBLA, Key Club, NHS, and YEPO. Okay. Uh, so what is your favorite memory in high school? My favorite memory in high school is just participating in the DECA um, business activities and then ultimately making it to nationals in Orlando, Florida. How was your favorite memory outside of high school? Um, my favorite memory outside of high school is just the Friday nights that you spend with your friends and just chill and go on car rides and just spend time with them and having fun. Uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark as a school? The best parts of Ozark as a school are the teachers that make up um, the staff who pour their life into our lives and shaping the future generation. And just the students who also make up the school, we couldn't do without them too. Uh, what are the best parts of high school in general? Not like Ozark specific. Um, high school in general? Yeah. I would say you are putting a lot of different people from different backgrounds and different stages in their life all together in one classroom and you guys are working toward the same goal and you get to meet a lot of new people who you wouldn't pair yourself with or think about being friends with and you get a lot of different opinions um, 
and exposure to different friendships. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? What do you think the biggest takeaways from high school are that you'll use in the future? I think the biggest takeaways are just lessons going through friendships and going out of friendships, um, knowing that some people aren't there for the long term, and just the valuable academics that they teach us in here to prepare you for college. Uh, what's some general high school advice you'd give to someone? I would say don't sweat the small stuff. Um, <laughs> high school is only four years of your life, and if you're spent if you spend your four years stressing about the perfect GPA or the perfect test score, then you aren't enjoying your life in the moment. Uh, what would your advice to younger classes be? I would say start preparing now. Um, it's never too early to start thinking about your future. I would say just be real and be you because people can catch that if you're not and it's better to um, not have any regrets later on than regretting your whole high school experience later on. Yeah. What are some of your favorite local places? Um, I really like the downtown Springfield area. I like the parks like Nathaniel Green. Um, Branson has some cool nature spots as well. Nice. Uh, what are your favorite parts about Ozark as a city? Um, I really like the new workshop area and the Johnny Morris development. It's a really cool atmosphere to be in. Um, yeah, just downtown is really cool too. Um, so like, uh, like I said, this one's split into three different parts, so okay. uh, who's had the biggest impact on you first being like specific teachers or someone like you worship at the school? Yeah, so I would say definitely Jenkins and Feeble has had a big impact on my life, um, career planning wise, um, since they are close to the business classes, we're always around them, so they've definitely impacted my life. How about other adults in your life? Um, I would definitely say my parents. Um, I go to church. There's a lot of great mentors there that um, will help guide you and give you advice, too. Uh, and how about peers? Um, I would definitely say Cameron, um, Denny, and um, Megan Surface have really been there for me and stuck through it. Yeah. Uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? About Ozark, like the city in general? Uh, the city, the school, school. whatever, yeah. Um, I would just really push for more growth. Um, it is growing right now and developing. Um, I would just keep that going. Yeah. Uh, summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. Oh boy. Or like a phrase. I would say a stepping stone into real life. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans after high school? My plans after high school are to use the free OTC scholarship for a semester, get my gen eds done so that I'm not going into debt right after high school and then transferring probably to MSU, probably getting um, some type of business administration degree, maybe hospitality management and going on from there. Um, anything else you want to say? Any, any lasting words? Um, no, I think I'm good. So first is, um, what's your name, and then what do you do in high school? Like, what are you involved with? Um, I'm Samantha Hill, and I am not involved in anything. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. So, uh, what's your favorite memory in high school? Um, my favorite. After school. Um, probably making like the Spanish videos and like having to like present them to the class. Mm -hmm. So like. Just like acting them out. Yeah. Uh, how about like favorite memory outside of school? Um, definitely like road trips to so, like Florida or like Cedar Point. Um, so in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark specifically? Um, definitely like like the opportunities, so like OTC, like the A plus program. Gotcha, yeah. Um, so what are the best parts of high school in general? Like, not Ozark specifically, I guess. Um, probably just, like, making new friends, like, kind of growing up, just. Yeah. Um, what do you think will be the biggest takeaway for you from high school that you'll use out of high school? Um, probably, like, probably, like, personal skills. So, like, being able to, like, go through situations, like. 
Gotcha. Um, so if you could like give just general high school advice, what would it be? Just have fun, because like it, it goes by so fast. Mm -hmm. Uh, what would be advice to like younger classes? So whether that's like someone who's gonna be a senior next year or like a kid who's just about to go into high school. Definitely like actually try. Like it's yeah. not that hard to like just try yeah. most of the time. No, you're right. Um, what are your favorite local places? So like just an area like specifically. Um, well definitely Mexican food. Gotta love that. Um, probably like the movies, like skating. Gotcha. Um, so this one's got like three different kind of like subsections of the question. So who, the, the big question is who's had the biggest impact on you? And then first like teachers or faculty here at the school. Um, probably like, probably like Miss Ferguson, honestly. Cause like she kind of like showed me. Yeah. Like, it was a hard class, and I kind of got through it, so sure. that's pretty cool. Um, how about, like, just other adults in your life, like, who had a big impact on you? Um, probably, like, my dad, to be honest, because, like, he always pushed me to, to like, do better. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, peers, like, your friends here at school. Um, I think they, like, kind of, like, I try to, like, like, I saw them doing something, and I said, I, I could do that, so I tried to, like, push myself farther. Yeah. Uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Um, definitely like the amount of people in the school because I like kind of smaller schools. Yeah, school smaller. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and this one's kind of hard too. You need to think about it. That's okay. Um, summarize high school for you in ten words or less, or just like a phrase. Um, probably like like growing up through different situations. Uh, and the last one is, what are your plans after high school? Um, I am planning on going to OTC for dental hygiene. That is the goal. Yeah. And anything else that you, your thoughts on high school or Ozark in general you want to put in at the end? Um, just kind of like I said, like just have fun with it. Like take your time because it just goes by so fast. Yeah. Enjoy the moment. Yeah. Um, so what's your name and what are you involved with at the high school? My name is Hannah Holcomb and I'm involved in theater and choir here at OHS. Um, so what's your favorite memory in high school? Like it could be like, a, like during school or like a school event? Um, I guess my favorite memory would be just being involved in productions. Um, probably my senior production to be specific, The Adams Family is probably my favorite memory. Gotcha. Um, what's your favorite memory outside of high school? Just ever? I guess. Oh like, my gosh. Just something like interview with ever, whatever. Um, my favorite memory, I guess would just be like spending time with my family on Christmas at my grandparents' yeah. house. Uh, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark like, as a school? Mm, the teachers are really good. I feel like teachers actually care about their students here. Mm -hmm. um, there's some place for everybody. Like there's so many different clubs, so many different um, just things you can be involved in. Yeah. Um, what are the best parts of high school, like not those are specific? Oh, God. I guess making new friends and just getting the overall high school experience. Uh, what do you think the biggest takeaways from high school are that you think you'll use in the future? Mm. Just be open to new experiences and be open to try, new, try doing new things. Yeah. Um, what's some general high school advice you'd give to someone? Mm. I guess, um, kind of like what I said earlier, just be open to trying new things. Yeah. Um, would you have any different advice in particular to like younger classes like coming into high school? Um, I guess just go in with an open mind. Yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite local places? Like could be Ozark, Springfield, Oh, so. um, just to hang out. Sure. I like the movie theater. I like to go skating or uh, bowling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite parts about Ozark as a city? Um, oh, <laughs> um, uh, there's lots of things to do. I mean, kind of. Sort of. Yeah. Um, everyone knows each other here. Yeah. 
so it's easy to make new friends. Yeah. Uh, this one is like one main question split up into three different parts. Okay, so I'm the ready. The main question is who's had the biggest impact on you with the first being like specific teachers or like someone employed by the school. Okay. Um, the people who have had the biggest impact on me from my high school experience would probably be the choir teachers, and the drama teachers, and Miss Dawson, and Brammer and Wilkins. Uh, how about like other adults in your life? Um, of course my parents, um, and teachers, yeah. Uh, and then how about peers who've had a big impact on you? Mm. My best friend Noelle, who forced me to try out for drama. That really had a huge impact on me. Uh, if you could change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Oh God. Um, as a city or as a school? You can do both. If you want? Do you have more than one thing? Well, as a city, I wish there was like more sidewalks so we could like walk to places, <laughs> yeah. or I wish everything was closer together because. Yeah, we're kind of split out. Yeah, out of but as a high school, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Not make announcements at the very end of school where, ev <laughs> where everyone's like, you can't hear anything? Yeah, and everyone's checked out. Right? Yes, exactly. No one yeah. listens. Um, so summer is high school for you in 10 words or less, or like a phrase. Oh, God. Um, Just some stuff. I guess just a new experience, life lesson. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans after high school? I plan on going to MSU or Drury and majoring in special education. Nice. Yeah. And is there anything else? You, any lasting words or anything you want to say? I don't think so. All right. You're good to go. Awesome. I don't know how to talk to cameras, Ethan. Absolutely. This makes me nervous. Don't be nervous. I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's your name and what are you involved with at the high school? Do I look at the camera? Sure. Or are you? Livable. My name is Kelsey Park and I'm an NHS. So, what is your favorite memory in high school? Probably going to football games and like prom and dances. Nice. All right, favorite memory outside of the school? <laughs> <laughs> um, just hanging out with my friends on weekends. There you go. Um, in your opinion, what are the best parts of Ozark? Like whether that's the school or just the city in general? Or? Um. I think just like the people that go to school here are all nice people. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a good answer? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Just answer honestly. It's not like a school thing. This doesn't have to be like, you know, there's parts of us. Like well, I'm not going to be sitting here like, fuck Ozark, bro. <laughs> I hate everyone here because that's how I feel. <laughs> I like about three people that go to school here and everyone else is fake douchebags. That's my uh, real answer. What are the best parts of high school? Like, not an Ozark specific thing. Just um, high school in general. I think just getting really close to a group of people and like growing up together and yeah. Uh, your biggest takeaway from high school you think you'll use in the future? Don't trust people, they're all fake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, let, me, let me change my answer. Um, I don't know. Morgan, what's an answer for that? I don't know, I kind of I enjoy the answer that you gave. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess we'll put that in. <laughs> okay, um, I sound negative. General high school advice, what do you say Um, Not to worry about like having all the friends, just find like two friends you're really close with and just stick with them. That's uh, what, what I've learned this year. <laughs> what would your advice be to younger classes? Like whether that's someone who's going to be a senior next year or like a kid who's like a freshman now. Um, just kind of take your grade seriously because then when you're applying for college and stuff, they actually matter. <laughs> what are your favorite local places, like specific places? So that could be like Ozark, Springfield, Branson, etc. Mm. Hmm. 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 <laughs> like, like, like food places? Sure, food places or just Primas. places you hang out. Uh, yes, Prima's, Hong Kong Inn, um, Starbucks, um, so local. <laughs> Trap Murphy's. All good places. 
<laughs> this one is like kind of three like sub questions in one. Okay. Um, so like the overlying question is who's had the biggest impact on you? But it's like divided into three categories. So the first it would be like teachers or faculty. So like. So I have to have one in each category. Like if you could name like one or two people from each thing. So like teachers. I don't or really faculty, know a certain teacher impact. that like. Be like a teacher, counselor, someone that works for the school. Have you ever been close with a teacher? Not really. Really? Like, I, don't, I can't you think of one teacher. You would be close to teachers. Yeah, you do. Like, I chat with them, but I can't think of one well, teacher that, like... teachers that you like at the school? Is there a teacher that when you think about their class, you're like, that changed the way I did things, or the way I interact with people, or the way I do whatever? I hate that I'm saying this, but Miss Botterell? <laughs> <laughs> like her her English class is the only one that like actually taught me stuff that I still use today. Yeah, like is yeah. most beneficial. So how about like other just adults like not school people? My parents. They're sure. great. Because they raise you. They know? yeah, they, <laughs> you know, teach me stuff, lessons. And then um my peers, like do I do I name names? Sure. Okay. Um, Morgan Austin, <laughs> Olivia Holes, <laughs> CC Westville, all my bays. Yeah. You, you just like them? <laughs> I just like them. <laughs> They're my friends. There you go. Okay. Um, if you could I change one thing about Ozark, what would it be? Mm. Um, not having to pay to get into games. Showing your student ID and getting in for free, like yeah. normal schools do. Yeah. yeah. Other schools do that? Yes. Really? Kikapu does that. Sure, no. um, so summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. Like <coughs> um, summarize high school for you in 10 words or less. FBGM. FBGM. <laughs> Can I say that in here? I'm just kidding. Maybe. We'll put that in the second. FBGM. <laughs> <laughs> Any other put, put my gang signs when yeah. I said that in so there and put that percent. clip. Okay. Any other options for how you describe high school? Growing up, learning, <laughs> friendships, love, heartbreak, peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's a play. <laughs> okay, and what are your plans post high school? To go to Mizzou and pursue a career in the medical field, something, not for sure yet. Yeah, Maybe a CRNA, sure. don't know. See what you like? Yeah, we'll see when I get there. Why Mizzou? Um, I've just always wanted to go there. Since I was a little kid, I used to go to gymnastics camps there every summer and like stay in the dorms, and I've always just like loved the campus. And I like the area of it, Columbia's a good town. It's very nice. And you know, it's not, it's far away where I'll meet new people. <laughs> um. Anything else that you would like to say about um, anything, high school or Ozark or anything related? Um, let's. I want to think of a good outro. Can you put it at the end? Sure. Okay. Hmm. If it's good enough, you got high, high standards here. Um, gang, gang. No. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm trying to think of something funny. <clears throat> My name's Kelsey Park, and you're watching Disney Channel. Okay. Yeah. Can I do that? <laughs> This is Kelsey Park, and you're watching Disney Channel. Can that be the end?